eyes just spun around. They didn't know what happened. And he's like, Mom, I feel so bad. I, it was a fence. I'm like, don't worry about it. It was the enemy trying, but he was defeated, and he could not succeed in his plan. I thank God for the pastors and the leaders that I've had in my life because they would always challenge to come up higher, to believe who you can be as a prayer warrior and as an intercessor because it's the invisible work that has great visibility in the earth. My pastor told me that someone in our church, they uh, basically were found unconscious. They had not been breathing for a while. They were brain dead. The family had come in from Texas. This was in Shreveport, Louisiana. And we were uh, newly ordained as associate pastors. He said, what do you do in a situation like that? I cannot go. I want you to go, and I want you to comfort the family and just encourage them. So I'm doing what my pastor told me to do, and I'm walking in the room, and I, I, I'm walking on into where the ICU was, and the Holy Spirit said, will you give me what I need? Mm. I like, I know what he was coming for. He wanted faith. And I said, you're wanting faith? And he said, yes, will you just believe me? For the impossible. I said, yes, Lord. Whatever you, whatever you want. I, I didn't know what I was walking into. He will set you up. I go in, and all the family's there, and they're in the room, and he will tell you to be bold when you would rather cower. Yeah. 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 He said, I want you to begin to pray, and I want you to begin to sing in the spirit. There's all these people there, their family members at the bed. I go in there and I just begin to pray and sing in the Holy Spirit. And the, and the angels of the Lord, you can begin to feel the presence of Jesus. All of a sudden, faith hit my spirit and I begin to say, that same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in your mortal body. I speak to you. I speak life to you. Come back. And all of a sudden, she began to come through. Her daughter ran around the bed and she moved out of the way and then she went to go back and to unconsciousness again. I grabbed that little skinny girl and I threw her against the wall because I had a faith connection. I was like, I said that same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in your mortal body. Get up in the name of Jesus. This woman got up and lived for another three years off of the oxygen machine. Uh, it was a tremendous, tremendous miracle. Another man was bit by a mosquito in West Nile. He went into a brain coma. I was in Philadelphia, and the Spirit of the Lord said, you're going to let that man die? I said, I don't know that man. His wife was a hairdresser for my sister when she had a shop in Shreveport. And all day long, it was kind of bugging me. My sister's texting me, you're going to go to, you're going to pray for that man? I said, I'm not going to pray for that man. I don't know that man. I'm trying to live like my hair to my sphere of influence. And I go out there. I'm just like minding my business, shake, or I'm not leaving. The Holy Spirit's like, you're going to let him die? I'm like, what is this? It's not my responsibility. <laughs> See, God's just looking for somebody available enough and crazy enough to do it. I call my husband at work. He's like, well, babe, the Spirit of God's speaking to you. He's like, get on a plane and go. So I go, fly uh, into Shreveport. And my sister ends up meeting me there. And we go into this ICU room. And, you know, you get the doctors and all the nurses. And thank God for them. They're amazing people. I pass out when I see blood. And the Holy Spirit said, just do what you do. I just begin to sing. I begin to sing in the spirit. And I was like, oh, what well, cute little Jesus girls. You just got to be a fool for Christ. Don't worry about it. Your reputation in heaven is what is important. And I'm speaking over him. And I'm prophesying over him. Told me to say, and, and intercession begins to hit, and nothing happened. I was expecting this miracle. And even the street board local news went and reported on that miracle. I go home, and I remember landing in Philadelphia, and the Spirit of God said, I'm going to send you on many excursions, and I will pay for them all because I got invited to a church in Dallas, and I, I preached, and I gave me a little offering which covered everything. He said, I'll pay for it. He said, if you're willing.